Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here, Nardos Kicks. So today I have my first ever pair of Air Jordan 1 highs, and as you can see, it comes in the signature box. Um, this one's obviously a white box, so that probably gives a little bit of a hint to what shoe it is. And in the second one, I got a pair of designer uh, Jordan Union Collab Crater Slides. Um, I'm actually very lucky this week to get both of these, so I'm super hyped to open them and actually see what they look like. The gray here, uh, I know it's like the Clavin Jordan. I didn't really look into too much into it. I could see the picture, but like, I never really like looked into detail, detail, like to really see what it looked like. So I'm excited to open that, and then to actually feel what an Air Jordan 1 High feels like, right? I've gotten several pair of mids and Air Jordan 1 lows, so I don't actually know what the highs, like, you know, the real deal, what it actually feels like. So let's get into it. Alright, so to start, obviously you can see it's got the big Nike on, it's got the swoosh that comes across, the two R's. Um, this is kind of the whole box. Right here, as you can see, 1985 Air Jordan 1. So for these, it's just got the standard white wrapping. Uh, we're gonna open it up here. And so we got the Air Jordan 1 OG Heritage. So these ones are considered OG, so it's supposed to be like, besides the 1985 pairs that come out, that are, those are pretty exclusive, but this is supposed to be the, the closest replica to you know the actual shoes MJ wore. Jeez, okay. So it comes with three pairs of laces. Um, one already being in the shoes, and that is the black. So here's the black laces, as you can see. Um, it's kind of tucked in the shoe. They don't even come laced, which that's a surprise to me. I didn't know that that was a thing even. And then here's the red. Here's the white. Um, I actually really like when the shoe's coming with separate laces like that. You can kind of mix and match and do whatever you want because you can. You don't even have to use them on this shoe, right? You can put them on a different shoe. Like the Barcelona pair I have, which I still have one pair in stock, by the way. I'm just kind of holding it to see to see what I feel like. I haven't sold them off yet. So if anyone's interested, go check out the Instagram. They'll be right there. As I was saying, right, you can put these on any pair. The Barcelona pair came with red laces, which um that was still kind of a surprise, but it still kind of went with the shoe and it gave it a nice little pop. So these, I kind of want to, what's it called, test, you know, see what the different laces look like. But then again, I am selling these, so I don't want to make them seem like they're used. Overall, as you can see, the color blocking, right? It's just red here, red here, the red Nike swoosh. Um, and then the, obviously the red toe box. The only thing I'd say that, you know, a lot of people didn't actually like the shoe was the red swoosh, because it matches, so it kind of blends in here. But I mean, you can tell it's the swoosh. It just, it looks good. It's right there. It's right, very prominent. The white and white, they match. So I mean, I guess some people didn't really like it, but this is the same color blocking is the Air Jordan 1 High Travis Scott pair. The only difference is the swoosh is backwards, really. It's the only difference, right? The white was there and it was blue. This, this was blue. That's the only difference is the Nike swoosh. So I don't understand why this isn't like exploding in price, judging that the Travis Scott is practically the same shoe. If you feel the tongue, the tongue is like, it's just super fat. It's, it's like, it's squishy. Right? I mean, even the leather is super nice on this. Um, the back, you can kind of feel this. It's all squishy. It's all nice. I mean, this is just going to be a super comfortable shoe to wear all around. And I think this is one of those low-key shoes that not many people are going to, you know, get. It's going to be a super sleeper shoe. And probably in like, I don't know, three, four months when it's all cleared out and no one has it more, the prices are going to start to skyrocket on these because they are an Air Jordan 1. And I do know Nike's pumping out Air Jordans like it's no one's business. But you can't go wrong with these. I mean, it's a solid colorway. Red, white, and black. Or you get the Nike Air right on the tongue here. Black and red. I mean, this is actually such a crisp looking shoe. It's an Air Jordan 1 High. It's got great colorway. The material is nice. The leather, the Air Jordan, it has a great pop to it. The bottom's red, so when you're walking around and stuff, you know, it, it'll look nice. It's not gonna be like a white or gum colored bottom. It's, you know, it's pretty freaking solid. It's a nice shoe, right? You're not gonna, it's not gonna just break or anything like that and tear up. Very comfortable, great looking shoe. You couldn't even go wrong with it. 
I mean, it's also, it's a white, mainly white shoe too. So you can really wear it with it, whatever you want to wear it. Um, you know, I'm actually a big fan of the Union LA collabs. They've had some really nice shoes. They had a pair, uh, two pairs of Dunks that came out, but I don't know, a month or two ago. And there's a pair of Air Jordan 4s that are just multicolored. It's got like yellow bottoms and some red on it. And the black is the main kind of color of it. I wish I could get my hands on a pair of those. Too bad they're like $700, so. I'm not really looking to dish that out on a pair of shoes right now, but hey, the fact that I have a pair of Union LA's in my hand, I'm, I'm so excited to really see what they look like. Take a look at the box here. It's got the Union, it's got the 21 on it. It's a slide box, so it comes kind of in this goofy rectangular shape. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Air Max box. All right, so this is kind of how the box opens up here. Now, as you can see, there they are. Here's the slides. So I'm gonna try to be gentle here, not ruin anything. All right. Here they are. So, taking a look at the paper here, there's little little figures on it. There's like the Union logo, and then there's the Jordan logo. And under the Jordan it says Union, and under the Union it says Flight. So I'm not really sure that I decided to mix it up. I mean, I guess because it's a collab. All right, so we're taking a look here. These will definitely give you a nice boost on your height. So anyone looking for those, you know, to kind of jump from the little 5'11 to 6'1 maybe, holy crap. And they're, they're definitely solid. There's two straps right here. Your feet are not gonna fall out of these, if I'm being honest. Take a look at the bottom. It's got the concrete, I guess, crater. With, you know, it's got kind of like the speckles in it. It's got a, it's got a Jordan logo, right, right there. I'm not sure how well anyone can see that. Take a look here. Here's the signature Union LA. I love that little piece right there. It gives it, you know, makes it unique, or right? it sticks up from all the other regular Jordan shoes and everything like that. It's got a little blue Jordan right there. Um, kind of just matches with the gray and the, the overall multicolor. So we open them up here. These are pretty freaking strong Velcro, I'm not gonna lie. And obviously there's just the paper for the shoe, but there's the Jordan in there, if you can see it. And obviously that's where you see the size. These are size 10. These just look super comfortable. These, they're nice and squishy. Um, they give you the height boost. I mean, there's nothing to, there's no loss with these. And we take a look here. It's got like the Air Jordan 1 kind of logo on it. Um, yeah, it's got like the tag. So we're kind of just looking at the Air Jordan 1 and it's got the big tag on the tongue. This is kind of like a replica of that actually. It's got the uh, the original Air Jordan logo on it, the Nike and the basketball. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed by these. For Union LA, man, their collabs with Jordan are always just so nice. They're just unique shoes that you know they just give you the pop when you're out in public and honestly both of these pairs of shoes are really compatible with whatever i mean it's a white shoe so anything you're wearing with the color white you can really pull off these these you can just pull off with i mean you can throw on pink shirt neon green shorts and you can still pull these off overall i just want to say thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace